Good morning, my friend, and welcome to day 26 of the 3030 Challenge. I want to open up with a question on this Sunday. Uh, how many of you like to take uh, Sunday afternoon power naps? Any raise of hands? Um, you can definitely include me in that list. And there are times where uh, maybe it's a golf tournament uh, on and just kind of reclining on the couch and uh, this is a story that unfolded this past year where Micah came in and said, Daddy, let's go outside and uh, I want to do some jump or let's shoot some hoops. And I'm like, gosh, Micah, I'm just getting back from uh, a traveling and I'm just kicking back, you know, this afternoon. And Micah asked me, uh, goes, Daddy, are you okay? Are you feeling okay? So Micah, I feel great. You know, just a little tired from traveling, he goes, no, really, are, are you are you okay? I'm so like, I'm doing great, thanks. He comes over to feel my forehead, um, and he goes, you know, I just, I wanna check, uh, make sure you're, you're not sick, daddy, because it, it sounds like you're coming down with a really bad case of excuse-itis. Wow, uh, that time, I think Michael was 11, and I just felt convicted of, here is, my son asking me to go play, go hang out, go do something. And I know that there's gonna be a day coming that I would long to have my son come and just say, Daddy, let's go play. Time just goes way too fast. So I don't know if that resonates with any of you dads out there, but the verse that rose up for me uh, hit me really, really hard as a reminder and maybe even a wake up call on those days of, um, feeling tired and have no time for my family. So let's go into Proverbs chapter 26. And uh, the verse that hit me hard was verse 13. And this is what it says. The sluggard says, there's a lion in the road, a fierce lion roaming the streets. Hmm, really? That was the G. So that was uh, Proverbs 26, 13. The reveal, the R for me, was lazy people can come up with crazy excuses so they can keep sinking in the couch, chomping on their second bag of potato chips. I just have to personalize that one for myself. And the I, what do I need to implement? Uh, reading this one verse is I need to set the example in my home of assertiveness and not allow excuse-itis to enter my home. My simple prayer to end uh, for this verse was, Lord, fill me with your spirit to rise up your strength even when my tank is empty. Keep la laziness out of my home. Maybe my last story um, will be a trip that I came back um, a few days down in Alabama. I drove in the in the driveway at about 6 p.m. dinner time, and my tank was empty. I, I had nothing. And guys, I, I don't get this perfect every time at all, but at that moment, I just paused and prayed, Lord, please fill me with your spirit these next couple hours. Lord, allow me to give my best to Leslie, my, my best to Micah, because Lord, I have nothing. And guys, there's time I'd go in and just check out, right? I, I'd just go into a, the man cave and um, I just wanted to be there as a husband and be there as a dad on uh, ending this trip. And I'm just going to tell you, when I walked in the door and um, Micah came running and uh, Leslie was just getting ready to serve dinner for that night, Lord sustained me, gave me the energy I needed, the attitude that I needed, and I just knew that it wasn't anything that I did. It was all what God did as he answered that prayer. So let me just kind of close with a prayer for all of us. Um, it's a battle, guys. I'm telling you, it is a battle not to be lazy at, at, at different moments in our life. So let's see if God can help us in that, okay? Heavenly Father, Lord, we um, bow just in humble adoration, Lord, of who you are. Lord, I would ask that um, whatever verse rose up for my friends, that, Lord, you would help get that cemented um, to their hearts, Lord, that you would help cement this verse to my heart. And, Lord, I do not want to be known as a lazy man. Um, so, Lord, when those moments come of 
I know we need the rest and I know that we need to pause in this game of life and, and that's okay to have a Sabbath, but Lord, do not allow laziness to enter my home. Lord, I ask in your powerful name that you would uh, build me into a man of assertiveness to take action, to be there for my family, to spend quality time and also to bring a good attitude in that. Father, we pray this in your mighty and most powerful name in the name of Jesus, amen. Bless you guys, have a great Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow morning uh, for, wow, day 27 of the 3030 challenge. Come on, let's finish strong.